What's up next leaders, Rogier here to help you systemize and automate your business so that you can capitalize on your unique gifts. You guys asked me, Roger, how is Elite Pages comparing itself to WordPress with, for example, the system Elementor? Well, let me tell you today, what system is the right choice for you in this phase we are in right now? You will find out in this video. Before we dive into my screen, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to stay up to date with new tips and videos. Okay guys, welcome on my screen. You're now seeing the homepage of Lead Pages, our first candidate for today. But of course, we just want to log in, all right? You know, I want to give you a, like a really, really fast tour so that you know what Lead Pages is, what it can do for you as an entrepreneur. First off, this are, these are the landing pages. Landing pages are really meant for the, the fast conversion from you as a visitor into a webinar or into an ebook or into a course, into a program, that kind of stuff. It, these are the easy pages like, yeah, I'm showing you an example here, like for example, this webinar page in Dutch where the buttons are now away <laughs> because the webinar has ended. Um, really easy to set up pages and also easy is that you immediately get some ideas on how the page is performing. You see the visitors, you see the conversions, and you see the conversion rate. That's pretty high, right? Also, what you can do here is create new split tests. So you can send 50% of the traffic to page one, 50% of the uh, traffic to page B. That's super handy, of course, when you're doing adverts, uh, when you are doing advertisements. And that's also a strong suit of element or for Elementor know of lead pages is that you can create your own ad from out of lead pages can be really strong uh, but of course also has a down page a downside but hey this is strong of course at first sight and um, then with editing I think this is one of the strong points um, it's super fast like okay editing this text here you can immediately see it happening on the page um, you can make it small jumbo you can edit colors also your brand colors are immediately here it's fast and it's really easy to understand you're seeing the the, the interface the GUI yeah I mean yeah it's easy you see you see the how, how good it's scoring here hey there's no lead capture mechanism at the moment yes that's right let's let me add it yeah okay let's add the form and I'm adding it here edit integrations and I can easily like add uh, active campaign for example and have a form here yeah I, I like that, that part of lead pages a lot it's that easy to create some super super fast landing pages and now well, for, for example I can I can update this I can update it is also place it on like a special URL like I'm doing here so you can place it on your own domain or in my case subdomain um, makes it easy makes it fast and that's what I like the most of lead pages and that's something else I wanted to show you it's a it's a new thing in lead pages I think six months old now it's called sites and that's where I see a big potential coming. I mean, first it was just a landing page tool um, and that's strong of course, but yeah, you have all these Elementor landing pages or DV landing pages that are also pretty fast, but now it's also competing on site level. Uh, let me show you. Um, I'm able to create a new site. So I'm, I'm able to pick a template here, can view, I can see how it works on mobile and when I press use this template I'm able to immediately set up the site uh, test for this video and whoppa, voila I'm here I can edit the navigation I can edit the site and seriously this can be up in in hours instead of hours or days or sometimes months with bigger builders like Elementor. And I'm a big fan of Elementor, but that can be a downside. So this is a real upside of lead pages. It's, it's super fast. And yeah, that makes it my 
software of choice for beginners that want to launch soon don't have that real yeah all these options they want like a, maybe a blog or maybe a web shop or those kind of stuff they just want an easy like business card type of website that's just works that just works then lead pages can be one of the fastest ways of launching such a website with of course also the landing pages so yeah I'm, i don't want to take too much time for it if you want to watch more i will create future videos videos about with a full review of lead pages but this makes it my top choice for like i said the real beginners or the beginners or the guys that said just i, I want minimalism i don't want a, bl a blog i i don't want a web shop make it easy for me one fee a month and i'm done it no updates no software updates one company to talk to yeah no plugins no installations easy easy going how many times did i say easy and fast mm. perhaps let me know here down into the comments this is for me a lead page okay over to candidate two of today that's elementor and elementor is a wordpress plugin so that's why i'm comparing lead pages to wordpress and to be fair i mean i'm installing a builder like elementor because otherwise i would definitely go for lead pages without such a tool as a builder elementor or dv or maybe beaver builder I would definitely go for lead pages because that makes your life so much easier so comparing those two i would not able to do that without like a builder like yeah like i'm saying like elementor that said let me log into the dashboard this is the dashboard like you're logging in when you're seeing your wordpress website maybe you're it's, it, it looks familiar and immediately i just wanted to give you a brief difference between the the landing page of or the dashboard of lead pages this is minimalism at work and i would say and this is ooh, a little bit more overwhelmed same maybe for the builder simple a little bit less simple still simple but a little bit less simple okay what cool is, is uh, what cool about elementor is this you can really use your own templates that makes it pretty fast and you can also insert templates into a current website because i was now editing a page and now you can insert other elements other pages other full websites that you can test out here and you can immediately insert those into your current page like i'm now looking at it i'm seeing the the header my navigation and the footer but because but if i want to only have like a landing page i can say hey page layout just use the canvas only so then i have like a real landing page and you see a blank screen I can add a, my own template maybe, I'm, I wanted to do that now, let me see, yeah, the line pack, that's a, a mastermind I'm hosting, and I can immediately enter, insert this into my new website. So that makes it cool, makes it interesting, and makes it stand out of, yeah, lead pages. Um, let me say it's, it's more personal, you can mirror customize it you go, can go a lot further with elementor and i would say that's the really strong suit also when you want to um, go deeper go further you want to add like a, a web shop or uh, you want to add your own forms or um, yeah web shop is maybe the best maybe or i want to say want to add your own course software it's of course all possible into WordPress and Elementor works really nice with WooCommerce and with like LearnDash for your courses. So yeah, I would say in the end it's almost working the, the same, but um, I felt that Elementor is a little bit more for when you're a little bit more tech savvy, you're, you know your way around with tech because it can no, it's not only can, it's almost always the case that you need to add it like margins, like paddings to make it fit on every screen. Not when you're using the templates of Elementor Pro, but when you're creating your own stuff, like I'm now doing with this page, you really need to edit those for to, to fit on, for example, a tablet, because then you see there's a little bit of a difference and hmm, 
this this is okay now but i would say hey maybe i need to expand this a little bit here and there and you already see there are then more bells and whistles than you would see on a lead pages website and that makes it strong but it can also mean that it's for the less techy techy guys it can be a little bit too much so i have to be honest about that um what else Mm, yeah, there's maybe a lot to say. Um, of course, there are some options of Elementor that make it a little bit more special. Like I said, more options, a lot more options. For example, I can make text float in, or you saw maybe this happening under the, the right moment. The stripes were really zigzagged, or I can underline something, and I can circle something. So that makes it, of course, stand out from the online crowd. Um, yeah, so that's what's something I really like. And it makes it easy, of course, to make the same landing pages over and over. That's something I really dislike of lead pages. Um, you're not able to insert certain blocks that you're maybe using on a different landing page. You really need to dupli duplicate the whole site. You cannot just duplicate one element or one section of a site. And that's possible in a, an Elementor. Like when I show you, I can see, show you it here. I can also insert small blocks. And besides a web shop or a learning environment, you're also able to create your own posts, your own blog, um, maybe special posts like podcasts or w w w video posts. It's all possible into Elementor. Makes it really, really nice to extend your wish. When your wishes extend, you can also make your website extend with it. And that's where maybe lead page is lacking. Um, so let me let me show you here. I, for example, I can add um, a post template, and they are also adding those posts back and again. Oops, cannot be found. Maybe another example then. Oops, cannot be found. Hmm, guys, I'm showing the product here. <laughs> And for some reason, I'm still getting the 404 warning and I'm seeing that I haven't updated to the latest version of Elementor. My bad. But yeah, that's also a downside, little downside of using such a tool. You always need to be up to date. And yeah, it, of course, it's why not? But that's something that Leadspaces, of course, is doing for you. Um, but when you want to add like a project or a portfolio or a blog, that's also something that's a real big plus of using such a tool as, as Elementor. It's so you can extend it and extend it and extend it and extend it. Yeah, that's something to love for a person like me. But I also have a few clients that are saying, help, <laughs> I don't want this stuff. Uh, it's all extra and uh, keep it really, really simple. So yeah, this was a tour of Elementor. I hope you liked it. It's really an extensive tool. You can do whatever with it. And differences, of course, are yeah, pretty big at some points. I uh, hope you liked it. If you have any questions, just ask me below. So there you have it. Lead pages versus WordPress with a builder like Elementor. What system do you like the most? Let me know here down in the comment section. I actually use both. Uh, lead pages more for my lead pages or my how do you say it opt-in pages and webinar pages the pages that I also promote uh, by advertising and Elementor for my website but that's uh, my, that's my choice so I, I'm really curious what you think in the beginning I was always say hey lead pages is a really nice system because it's so super fast to set up without any technical skills or without installation like I said Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And we'll see you next time.